Previously on The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Oh. Spread my dance across the world. Train its followers. Yeah. And now the continuation. Oh, I remember this. Tail and I drew this with a skull kid when we first met him. He told us that he had been fighting with his friends and that they had left him all alone. I'm sure it was because he was always playing tricks, so nobody wanted to play with him. But to do what he did, just because of that... And once he got his power... Ugh, <sighs> man. Reliving priceless memories from the past. Hey everybody, it's Dekinosai here with another episode of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Today we're gonna get a move on towards the swamp and face our fiercest foes yet. Well, not really fiercest foes, I mean, face it, there are plenty of weaklings, it's the beginning of the game. But yeah, what we want to do here is, while we get to the swamp here, um, there are a lot of keys around, and you just want to be careful of that, but also, we're gonna get something nice if we can manage to avoid drowning. <laughs> uh, so just shoot this little bat up here. I'm, thankfully, I got it on the first shot. Usually, hey, jerk! These bats need to die. These bats need to die. I wish I had like a bow right now, because I'd totally use that right now. But I don't have one, so I'm just gonna go ahead and stab this guy in the face, this clown face. And I'm gonna go up this ladder here, because what's up here is very important to our cause. That's right, there's something really hidden in plain sight. Not that freaking bird. Let's try that again, this time with feeling. So we got ourselves another piece of heart. We collected three so far, which is really good. We need only one more to extend our health by a little bit. Let's dive into this hole. Now this hole doesn't really have too much important. I'm gonna put on the bunny hood because I don't know why I didn't have it on in the first place, but Right here, we're gonna actually recharge our, um, items just a little bit, because going back in time, it actually, like, gets rid of all our consumable items. Like, we won't be able to use this. And this is the first time that we've ever gotten a Deku stick in this game. Much like Ocarina of Time, it's just a stick. And that's, that's pretty much all, all that can be said for the Deku stick. You light it on fire, and you can use it as a torch to light other things on fire, and other than that, it's pretty much a little bit more powerful than the sword itself. You also got a red rupee here. It's pretty nice. Pretty handy dandy. But anyhow, we're done in this little cave, so let's move on. Alright, so you may notice our lovely little friend hanging in the air. His name is... Um, friggin... Did I really forget his... Tingle! Tingle! His name is Tingle. I don't know why my long-term memory is that dull, but yeah, his name is Tingle. He's a guy who likes to impersonate fairies even though he looks rather aged. So let's go ahead and take our fairy mask off and then be like, Hey, what's this? Green clothes, white fairy? Sir, could you by chance be a forest fairy? Oh my. 
My name is Tingle. I think I am the same as you, sir. A force fairy. I've already shown you this guy like five different times. What we're here for is basically, um, if you get to the screen, please. Thank you. We're here for the Snowhead map. And yes, um, several of you actually did comment earlier saying that you can actually get the maps for cheaper in their home locations. For example, you get the, um, you get the swamp map early on. You could get the swamp map earlier on in North Clocktown, but at the same time, you can come here to visit Tingle, and you'll be able to buy it for him for much less than the 40 rupees that you had to pay for before. But anyway, hey, I didn't mean to do that, sir. Take that off real quick. Man, oh my god. Put the bunny hood on, and let's get going. Welcome to the Southern Swamp. And those of you with a king eye, you might have seen something that is really missable, but we're gonna see it in a second. But first, let me go ahead and just annihilate these bushes because, let's face it, bushes are the best way. Bushes are like the armory of the Zelda games. Like, no joke. You can get all of your things from the bushes. It's pretty cool. Now, it is worth noting here that I did go back to town. Well, I didn't go back to town. I just started the episode with the land title deed already in motion, so you need the land title deed before you talk to this dude. Just, just be aware of that. Thanks for stopping by. You're not from here, are you? I sell magic beans to Deku Scrubs. Keep note of that, magic beans to Deku Scrubs. But I'd really like to leave my hometown. I'm hoping to find some success in a livelier place. But to open a business in another place, you need to go through the proper channels first. Do you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Well, I got the deed if you get the spot, sir. Oh, that's a land title deed. I wish you'd let me have it. I'll give you this land in return. Deal? So we got the swamp title deed. Um, you'll notice a sort of pattern going along here. Just letting you know now, in the four corners of the universe, you'll be able to meet up with different Deku scrubs and trade deeds. You'll have to trade them in a specific, specific order, though, so that's how you're going to do it. But you'll use them for various different assortments of actions. For example, right here we'll need this Deku plant thing to burrow into the ground and then come up above all else, hop on top of this roof, and if you saw it earlier, well, there you go. It's our fourth piece of heart, which means we've assembled a new heart container, which means we are one heart closer to being awesome. Well, actually, we're already awesome by default, but who's counting, right? So now that we're done with that whole endeavor, I'm actually going to come over here because that's where we need to go. It is a little bit faster as a Deku scrub, but I like swimming for some reason, so I'm gonna just swim. And look at that. You see that pot over there? It's a sign. There are witches up ahead. Let's see here. What does this sign say? Magic Hags Potions Shop Ahead. That's right. Actually, let me see. So, let me see if I can find something real quick. Hmm? Nope. Nope. I was I was trying to find something to show you guys, but we'll do that in a bit. For now, let's carry on into this. This is actually transmissioning into a different map which I guess is only useful if you're into the technical aspect of Majora's Mask, but it is transitioning into a completely different map. Um, I really like how they smoothen the transition instead of like having to exit through a small little place. You just move right on in there without a loading screen or just a black screen in general. But anyways, let's see. Let's take note of that building real quick. This building here, look at that pot over there. Yeah, it's, it's very advisable that you take notice of that, but we're not going to go there for now. Aha! Okay, this is what I was looking for. Remember that one time where I said I was going to try something and then I tried stabbing a sign and it didn't work? Oh! Funny thing I want to show you guys. I can't own this sign. I'll do it later. Well, this is what I'm going to show you. So, let's say you cut this sign in half, maybe in quarters, maybe in all fours. Point being, it's broken, and you can't really read it. Like, if you try to read it, it's not even going to do anything. You can't do anything with it. Well, if you do that by accident on a square sign, here's how you fix it. Whoa. It magically repairs itself. Woods of mystery, beware of the ferocious turtles. Turtles? Oh no. Hi, I'm Link. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna have to follow this guy through the woods of mystery. 
I'm not really going to um, point any fingers here, but this does look like a very familiar place, even though we've never been here before. Right? We've never been here before. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is the Lost Woods from Ocarina of Time. It's just in the swamp now, so just be wary of that. You want to follow the monkey guy as far as you go, because we need to find what he's pointing us to, and whoa! Oh, wow! Help me! Okay, sure, why not? Just, just, give me the boots. <sighs> I was just busy minding my own business, picking mushrooms, when BAM! I got hit from behind. That pesky skull kid, did he think an old hag wouldn't recognize him if he hit his face? Oh, wow. To think he's that powerful, and now I can't even move! You! Don't you have anything that gives you energy? What, you mean like steroids? I don't carry that, man. I'm a legit kid. Ah! What is this? You're no help. I say, you're no help at all. You're not at all what you make yourself out to be. Well, ma'am, I'm afraid I don't take no for an answer. You're gonna give me the boots, whether you like it or not. <laughs> okay, no. Let's go out this way real quick. Okay, so you know that potion shop we were talking about earlier? Well, we're gonna go right up there and see what's up there, because there's something in there that should be able to give us energy. So let's climb up this ladder, if we're awesome enough to do that. Let's climb up this ladder and be on our way. It is kind of fun how um the twin sisters are back in this game, because... I had fun with them in Ocarina of Time. They were pretty fun characters, if I do say so myself. Tee welcome! My potions work very well, they do. <laughs> What's that? The Skull Kid got to Kome? That's ridiculous! If it's just the Skull Kid, then what harm could he possibly do? Oh, if that's true, then take this potion to her. This isn't good. So we got a bottle of red potion, but more importantly, we got a bottle. The red potion replenishes health. Self-explanatory. It won't kick in if you are low on HP, though. Like, if you have no hearts, it won't kick in. You have to take it before you die, otherwise it's just, you're dead. But anyways, yeah, we have to take this potion right to her, so once again, proceed through this tunnel and we'll meet you right there. Alright, so one thing I need to stress a lot a lot, a lot, okay? Um, don't talk to her as a Deku scrub, she won't respond to you at all, okay? So anyways, let's go ahead and talk to her real quick. Ow, yow! Don't you feel obligated to help a sorry old hag when you see one? Now, it's very important that you talk to her and get to the screen before you use the potion, because otherwise, if you use the potion when you're right in front of her, all it's gonna do is have you drink the potion. Like, it's gonna make you... what the hell? Thank you. All it's gonna do is have you drink the potion, but if you do get to this screen, you're actually gonna give it to her. So, yeah, that's, that's one important thing. I always ran into it as a kid. Ah, that color, that smell, that's definitely Kotake's. I thought you couldn't move. Like, seriously, why the hell are you standing now? Oh, feel the energy flow. Kome is revived. Damn right, summon that broom. You serve me! I'm the swamp tour guide. I run the boat cruise, so come by if you want a free ride. Well, I'm certainly not a freeloader, but I'll take that, man. Oh, what's this? These monkeys seem to be calling to me. You have strange powers, no? Me been watching you. Lately, this swamp filled with poison water. Temple above waterfall strange. Brother, go to temple. But brother, no able to find temple entrance. Temple for Deku only. Brother captured by Deku. Now in palace. Help. Yes, well, you remember that thing about me uh, moving maps? Well, if you follow these guys, eventually they're gonna disappear. Like, just, just watch for a second. It's like... You're coming through here, this corridor, and then you're following them, and suddenly they're gone. Like, just, like a snap. See, it's like a sap. It's like a snap. <sighs> the temple is this way. So if you swim across here, or use the Deku Scrub, as I'm gonna do this, 
I'm gonna show you right quick. <gasps> yeah, see, just hop across these lily pads over here, and then keep hopping, keep on hopping. Now, the, the Deku Scrub can only take five taps into the water, so be sure that you, you know, know where you're going. Actually, no, this isn't the temple, this is just the boat cruise, but really, um, you want to go in here to get to the temple, so I was right in saying this is the right way to go. But anyways, we'll get to that next time on The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Until then, take it easy and decky harder!